Hotels. Well, no, really, it did start with that big bill. Yeah, yeah, that's what okay. I'm thinking. It started with that big bill, thousand yeah, dollars yeah. after after the main winter months last year. And Darren was horrified. I was absolutely horrified. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Could not believe we, the thousand dollars, and I was like, "What are we doing?" Because you've been trying to yeah. work it before that thousand dollar bill came along. No, I, I just we were just doing those little things, you know, like but I turn off the lights, that sort of stuff. Thinking, mm. oh, we we do that, and we didn't really know where to go because I was the stubborn one. I was saying, no, we're, we're not going to go without the heaters. Darren was like, it's the heaters we need to stop with the heaters. And yeah. I was like, no. <laughs> we use them less. Yeah, yeah. So when you did the work, the um, reducing the electrical mm. bill course, mm. and I can remember it coming to the first workshop. <laughs> And, and, you know, because we start to spell out what do you use and, um, and we talk about, you know, how electricity gets in and then we started to pull apart the bills, didn't we? Mm, mm. Can you remember what your insights were about that at that time? Because I remember you being quite stunned at yeah. like some of the things that came out. Then. I, I remember saying to you, I can't have a cold face. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm that. looking at you going, <laughs> I remember that bit. I, I think um, I just never even looked at the bill before. I just paid it. And I think looking at it and understanding it for a start, you know, just empowered us a little bit. Because I explained all this to Darren and did the PowerPoints with Darren. Yeah. Um, mm. I didn't know, I didn't have any idea how it was charged before that. Like, yeah. no idea. My bills just kept going up and up and up and up. Yeah. And I didn't really neither, know. Why. Neither of us had ever actually read a look at a bill. And, no. <laughs> and, and really and looked just, at a bill and said, well, that's what I'm spending on this yeah. time. Kilowatts I'm doing, or that's how much I'm actually using. Yeah. So how much was understanding the bill critical to you? The next, the next steps for you guys. I think it helped us understand where our use was, yeah. like what we were using and where, and how many mm. hours we were using it for, mm. and maybe even just through doing that, and then having the suggestions and and the ideas of what to do. That like doing, I think it's both those things. It's not just a matter of understanding where you're spending it. It's a matter of then how do you cut that down? And it's the stuff you talked about. It, you know. Mm. And you look at like one thing like like the fish tank or the yeah. heater, and you, know, you can look at it and go, okay, well, that is how much we're spending per three month quarter yeah. on that, and, and and you don't really yeah. think about one item until you look at it and work it out. Yeah. You, know, you don't look at that one thing; you look at just everything. Okay, it's everything costs that much. Yeah. But when you looked at the heater over that much, and then yeah, we if you if we looked at okay, if you didn't have it on all through the night, how much would you save? And yeah. yeah heaps. So when you looked at that, how much you'd save, was that a key factor in the decision? Oh, yeah, heaps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really important, wasn't it? Yeah, there's a few major things that we we thought of. And, yeah, I can't <laughs> believe that I agreed to, <laughs> to, not, go, to not sleep. <laughs> well, was it helpful to see how much you might save? Was that one of the things? Yeah, so, I think so. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what pushed me to actually try that. To agree mm -hmm. to that, we we talked about it. I think we understood it. We looked at it. We understood it. Then we looked at all the electricity use in our house, and then we understood that and where it was costing us. And then we basically sat together and worked out a bit of a plan of things we were going to yeah. change, yeah. behaviours we were going to change, and different ways we were going to do mm -hmm. things. Because we didn't purchase anything new or anything. Yeah. All we did was change what we did. So. Um, so tell me about what you did change. Mm, we've 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 discussed this actually. We've, we've done quite a few things. Yeah. The heater thing. Now we we. We, 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 we tend to not watch as much TV these days. We'll watch a DVD on the laptop instead. And we find using the laptop isn't as expensive as using a TV mm. based on the yeah. power ratings. What's the sort of television that you were using? Just, the big screen. It's yeah. not a plasma, it's one of the yeah. LCD ones, but it's yeah. still a bigger screen one. And yeah. I always like to watch movies on that because it's bigger and yeah, nicer. Yeah, yeah. But, it, but that's, you know, how that ties in with heater, that's another room we have to heat if we're going to sit yeah. in there. Because we want to heat this area, we also want to heat the bedroom so it's nice and warm. Yeah. If we want to sit in there and watch a big TV, we have to heat that room and have the TV. So it's really yeah. an so expensive we'll extra room. Yeah. 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 And now if we just watch you swing the bedroom, we can just, show, just have the, the heater in the bedroom and turn off all the other heaters. And we can just watch something on the laptop. So jump in the bed, yeah, snuggle like, up warm. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We'll, buy a show, we'll just buy like a series. Right. So is that better or are you feeling disappointed by that? At first, no. I, I could... I think initially, because Darren always liked watching things on the laptop, but I didn't. I always wanted to watch it on the bigger screen. Mm. But I think, I don't know, Some at, at first I sort of thought, eh. but then I just, I don't know, I got into it. I got used to, to it. Because you're nice, yeah. especially in winter. And yeah. that's why the bedroom's really important, because we've got the two dinners now. And the yeah. two dinners makes it so much warmer. And then above the window, where a lot of the cold would get in, they'll put, what did you put, like a, a like blanket? A doona thing. A doona thing above do that, and then yeah. we're finding that we can turn that heat off when we go to bed, and that room is staying warm. That's fantastic. And the room is, is not getting cold. And we're actually we're actually getting a, 
a double glazed window for the bedroom too now. Yeah, so that okay. so that's going to be even better. Because mm. we've that, got that's, major condensation problems. Yeah, that's supposed to keep the heat in even better. So we're going to yeah. get a, a window. To and, try I'll, and we'll do a proper pelmet. Yeah. Now that we've seen that it works and we're happy yeah. with how it works, that sort of stops our cold circulation. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we'll go with a double glaze and put a pelmet on. But, but for now, mm. we've managed to do it just without paying anything. And, and just out of interest, you know, what we've been experimenting in town with is um, bubble wrap. Yes. It, it actually makes, with a curtain and a pelmet and the bubble wrap, you can't even tell the difference between the curtain and the wall. Oh. Really? So that's an interim. It's, working. it's an interim thing until you get the double glass. Well, we were going we yeah. to do it. I, I yeah. thought I had a roller bubble wrap in the shed, and mm. I was going to do it, it one weekend. Just, yeah. Yeah. But then, I, yeah, I told Darren about it. But then we sort of got really inspired. I think then we got the bill, realized how much we cut, and we got really inspired, and we went, "Oh, let's go whole hog with this." And yeah, get yeah. So when you say you got the bill, the cheaper bill, or yes, yeah. Yes, so so yeah, yeah. So you, that was half. Yeah, from the same period last year, it was half, and it was just. And that bedroom was only really one thing, like the fish tank was another thing. I had the fish tank running all the time. With the, the heater. filter and the heater. And you, I found out it didn't really need to be running the filter all the time. And you didn't even have to have the heater at all. Yeah. So we just cut that out almost completely. So we just put the filter on occasionally. And I think we sometimes. made a different choice to sort of go in a cold climate like this. Do we really need a heated tank? Do we really need yeah. to be heating three foot, a three foot tank? Yeah. And, so and so tank, we, <clears> we only ended up with one fish. So we were heating <clears> this tank and having the filter on 24 seven for one yeah. And was it a big consumer of energy? I think so. Yeah. When we worked it out based okay. on based on the energy yeah. ratings and what they said we was using. We didn't I don't think we worked out the heater. I think we just worked out the filter, the filter. and worked out it was like seven dollars a week or something, which doesn't seem much, but over a bill, yeah. that's contributing quite a bit just to mm. one. And that heater probably was using mm. just as much. And the heater is that we right? don't even know yeah. what the heater is. So that fish tank would have been. We deep. took the heater out, we don't even know what the So it just is. adds up a little bit to really <laughs> make that bill mm. fill out. Yeah, the luxury of having one fish. Was mostly about the heating? It was mostly about yeah. only heating one space as opposed to multiple oh, so spaces. Shutting doors, make sure. Shutting yeah, 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 don't have all the doors yeah. open, so it's not keeping them warm in. Yeah. yeah. Shutting those other doors to make sure you're keeping it in here, or shutting the bedroom doors, so you're keeping it in yeah. that one space, because then you can have it lower because it's a small space. Mm. So you're yeah. retaining the heat in one little space, yeah. as opposed to trying to pump up the warmth through yeah. a much bigger space. Because mm. yeah. we have the gas heater, the gas heater there too, and generally you don't have to have it on three, you can have it on one if you, if you keep the space enclosed. Yeah. And you don't have all the doors open. But, but we have opened the window a tad up the top, like you suggested, so, yeah, yeah. so we don't die. Particularly with our flu gas yes. heaters, yeah. 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 Well, we, what we've been doing a bit is having that on, just while we sort of get dinner and stuff ready, and having the other doors open, so that that goes through a bit more, so those rooms up a bit. And then we don't even turn the heater on in the lounge room. I think we've turned it on about three times. Mm all winter we don't even go there we used to heat that room we used to we used to have this blazing out here and heat this then we'd have the heater on pre-warming that room heating that room yep. then i'd preheat the bedroom yeah and have that so we just and then it was going all night and it was getting yeah, lost yeah, out yeah. the window all so, night yeah. we were having okay. the heater all night yeah so you were warming the entire block yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I think I added it up around, we were probably using about 15 hours per evening of electrical heat, just between two heaters and having that one on all yeah. night. So what other things did you do besides that? Um, obviously the TV, using the laptop, um, obviously just general stuff, making sure we're switching off lights. Yeah, yeah. Um, the fridge, we had yeah. sort of a leaky seal. It's a slight seal. fridge seal issue and, and we think that may have been contributing, so we made sure we got that fixed. So you put new seals on the fridge? Got the seal fixed, yeah. So that, that seems to have influenced it, we think. I've changed a little bit how I cook, like the things that we learned, like... Um, Such as? Well, like boiling the water in the jug first before I put it on, rather than just having a pot of water with the yeah. stove blazing yeah. for yeah. like 20 minutes to heat it up. Yeah. I boil it first in the jug, then do that. And like we said in the group as well, um, putting a lid on it and turning it down. Yeah. It's just so simple, but I just never thought of it. Yeah. <laughs> and we probably do a bit more cooking the microwave now yeah. than we used to. Yeah. It's even little things I find, like turning the TV off not on standby. Mm. When the computer's charged, you don't have to keep it charging. You can take the yeah. plug out and take it out from the plug so it's not still yeah. charging. It doesn't yeah. need to be continually charging. Mm. We're always trying to do that. Yeah. Even at yeah. night time, if we turn the laptop off, pull on the plug and everything, so make sure it's not still mm. trying to mm. charge. using a little bit of power. Mm. And, and just doing things differently, I think, and trying, just trying it out. Like, I wouldn't even consider, I was just like, no, I want to be warm. I don't care. I'll pay yeah. the bill. Yeah. And not even trying it, but when we went, okay, let's try this, 
let's try a few strategies like the pen and the, the extra doona and mm. I mean I always have hot water bowl anyway but the hot water bowl as well and all that sort of stuff and just giving it a go and sort of realizing that I don't have to be cold it's not yeah. a, a choice of I'm um, you know I either be warm and pay the bill or I go cold I, I didn't yeah. end up going cold. And and another thing yeah. I did was um, wear socks to bed. Yeah. yeah. I've got to say, in the cool temperatures like this, the heater is, is big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's probably only 50%. Mm. I reckon that'll knock 50% off the, our savings, just that heater, the heaters alone. Yeah, and us not being in separate rooms and all that. Yeah. And the other things, if you do all these other little things, that's what makes it all, I reckon. And it's it's nice as well. Like, I, we sort of hang out. I, well, we always have hung out more. Mm. But, you know, I think we hung, hang out possibly more. You know what I mean? Because Darren can't go off there and watch sport and I'll go over there and watch something else. Oh, and, you know, okay. we do stuff together. So it's really nice. So it's been that extra benefit in terms yeah, of I think more so. connected. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So when you come to tell other people, tell me what that's like. Because I've heard all sorts of things about that. Mm. I find most people ask me how. Like to they go, really? Yeah, yeah. How did you do that? And then what I've found is when I start saying how I did that, they then go, oh no, well, we couldn't do that because of this. Oh, well, we couldn't do that because of that. And oh, we couldn't do that because we have kids. And then sort of, like, you sort of just go, oh, okay. And you <laughs> can say, working. and I couldn't do that because I didn't want to get my face cold. <laughs> but I've <laughs> actually realised that. I, I think that's the thing, people won't take that step. Like, I, I could have stayed hard on that and gone, no, yeah. I'm not going to, you know, I refuse to go without, blah, blah, blah. But it was just trying it and going, you know. Like, so people are almost too scared to experiment. Mm. Yeah. Instead of going home and saying to their family, okay, we're going to try this, they, they don't. They just go, oh, no, they wouldn't do that. No, we couldn't do that. And mm. don't bother. And yeah. it honestly, it didn't take that much time to do it. I think people just don't yeah. want to spend the time doing it sometimes. We just went, we're going to change, and we're, this is what we're going to change, and let's do it. And we did it. But I think that that's that sort of barrier is And yet it sounds like you both had a joint agreement to make that change. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. um, there's a lot of people talking about the fact that there might be a partner that's not supportive of the change yeah, yeah. or they've got teenage kids in the house who mm. have a very set idea about how this mm. is going to run. For you, it seemed quite critical that you both got on the same page about how important this was and collectively you developed a plan. Yeah, yeah. it wouldn't have worked, I don't think. Otherwise. I say, I have a child, I have a, he's only nearly four, so he's not quite a teenage age or anything that needs, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's using smashing like heaps of power, but I don't know, we still have that. Every school holidays. Like, we, we managed. I, I think with him as well. Like there, there wasn't any. Nothing excessive. Like probably he, there was more TV watching. A little bit yeah. more TV watching, but that might be about it. And heating that room as well while he watches yeah. TV. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. No, yeah. we weren't excessive. But you could use it. that gas heater and maybe leave just that door open. Yeah, yeah, I think rather than heating here and shutting those doors, we yeah using the gas and opening that door and letting the heat go in there a bit. It's cool, you know. If you're sitting in front of the heater, it's lovely and warm. But if you're in there, it's a bit cool. But it's okay. Yeah. Is it important to you to teach your son how to save energy? No, he's probably a bit young at the moment, but yeah, yeah. When, he, when he can fully grasp, I think I will. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Cause it's and just demonstrate to him the yeah. things we're doing. So it's through and your explain own to him. Yeah, explain yeah. to him why we're doing what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. I think that's it, isn't it? If, you, if you're reckless with your energy use, then your kids are going to see that and do the same. Because so. yeah. little things like a dressing gown. You know, he sees a bit more dressing gown, and then he wants to wear his dressing gown. Yeah. You can see that when he's wearing his dressing gown, you don't really need to be smashing the heavens. Yeah. I think we're probably the biggest, yeah, yeah. A, bit, a bit more practice, and we're getting better at turning off the lights. You know, we finally turned off the iPod dock and decided yeah. we don't need, we don't need, we've got a clock there, a clock there, and we had a clock just around the corner yeah. there. So we thought, well, do we really need three <laughs> clocks within <laughs> the space of about four metres? Yeah, no. Yeah. So we finally turned that off with the PowerPoint. We're thinking about turning off the Ostar box at the yeah, PowerPoint because okay. we don't really watch it much and it's, no, and it's, it's a standby yeah, light. Kind of the sport. Yeah, it's yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice sport. Look at that. In terms of your household consumption, yeah, you've yeah. not just halved that, yep. you've actually, that's a quarter almost of what you were using before. Wow. That's pretty mind-boggling when massive, you look at that, isn't it? it? Mm. 